Alright, yeah, and welcome back to some more RimWorld. So, I did a little digging on why everybody's starving to death, and it's stupid. Mm. See this prison bed here? If we get rid of it, just watch everyone go and eat. There they go. So, apparently, if you have a prison bed in the same place as your um, food storage, there's a little bug where they don't go and eat. Oh, Branya's got sick from an infection. Oh dear. Well, we should have... Yeah, we have 15 herbal meds. So, you should be more than happy with that. And Brio doesn't have... Malnutrition? Trivial. Oh, you're starving to death. You're not bedridden, are you? We'll get you to consume a simple meal, and then we'll give you a... Hunting rifle. Since you are... Oh, we have a raid. We have people that actually want to kill us. Is that Taylor's Village? Taylor's Village were the people that we ate, weren't they? I think. Yeah, it must have been. Unless it was Villagers. No, it won't have been Villagers of Valley. Alright, well. We've got this guy coming to attack us. So there's that. Right, well. Let's get equipped, shall we? Uh, secondary Hunter. So we've got Brio the Hunter and Scorpion the Hunter. Give you a shotgun. And then Brio, come equip the survival rifle. And then we'll select everyone. Draft them all. Oh, Brio, get the survival rifle. There he is. Right, let's make sure everybody's got a decent weapon. So knives are okay, I suppose. You've got a club. Well, we have a spare shotgun peeler and bow, so there's no reason why we should really have people with the wrong equipment. So what damage does this do? Eight for the steel knife as opposed to... Eight for the stone club. Okay. Well, we might as well give you a peeler anyway. You're not very good at shooting. That's the only reason I considered maybe giving you that. Oh, we could have you drop your... Oh, but you're really good at melee. This is the problem. Everybody's really good at melee. <laughs> we kind of need people on there. Rifles and stuff like that. Screw it. You're gonna have a shotgun. Enjoy. Right, uh, where is he? He's there. So let's all get together in this little area here. And we'll try perform some sort of ambush. So we'll get our melee units down the side here. And we'll shoot from the rocks. Actually, you probably want to go there, you there, and you there. So yeah, he's took- oh, don't go for Iris, you will die. Alright. Is Iris sick? Iris has got food poisoning. That's what you get for eating our survival meals. Right, all the melee guys then are going to go attack Fedon. Probably going to die to Iris' attacks anyway. Because she is a battle wolf, as it were. But, time to gang up and eat your corpse, sir. Might as well undraft these guys. We're not going to need them. Let them do some stuff. Sweet. Fedon has been captured. He is a cannibal, but he's also really crap. So, we're just going to beat him to death, I think. And we are going to eat him. Oh yeah. So as you can see, there's this uh, the new system for melee, where you can create your own little. Um, there we go. You can create your own little bottlenecks for your opponents to go through, which is awesome. So only two people can come down and attack at a time, that kind of stuff. So undraft, get them to do their thing. So the plan for today is to 
hopefully get research started. So we'll get a steel research bench. We didn't build one, did we? No. Yeah, we want to start working on getting um, electricity going. Now, tribal uh, factions actually do a slower research of everything. So it is going to take a little while for us to get to electricity. But I think we can make it. We do have... Uh, we're not doing great on food, actually. In all honesty. I'm going to go grab that corpse. You're making pemmican all the way over. Why not just haul the garve? Agave, whatever. Ooh, before I forget, um, we wanted to rename one of our people. So let's rename you. And there we go. And it was Amber. There we go. We have Amber among us. Welcome aboard. And there's your character, just so you know. Cannibal Psychopath. Yeah, I noticed actually, uh, everybody is a female, except for the new ape, who's probably going to be our chief breeder. <laughs> who, who knows? I mean, social. Ooh. Oh no, Scorpion is his sister. These two are related. So they shan't be getting it on. Hopefully. No, they've actually uh, disabled incest among humans in the game. Oh no, they've enabled incest among humans and they've disabled it among animals. Which I think is a weird combination because it should probably be the opposite way around in all honesty. But, what can you do? Who's our uh, doctor? Amber, you are our doctor. Wonderful. So once you've done moving that iguana over, I want you to heal Branya. Yeah, man. There we go. And then treat Branya the warrior. We're actually doing all right in terms of uh, combat. I thought we might struggle since we're a melee-focused tribe, but it seems we're doing all right. So I'm happy. We have plenty of food. And hopefully this will be done in no time. So 84% grown there and 90 on the strawberries. Though we do have a debuff on harvesting plants, so this isn't as much as it looks, because it does look like a lot. I mean, probably will end up being a lot regardless, but we'll see. What are you doing here? You are consuming the pemmican. We also probably want to make ourselves some comfort items. Can I just check um, the needs? Ugly environment. It's because it doesn't have enough floor, isn't it? I believe. What kind of floors have we got to offer? I don't want to waste wood, because wood's really hard to come by. In fact, if it's so hard to come by, temporarily, we will set this as... That tree. I don't know. I'm not sure what that tree is. More specifically towards its biome, but it's definitely not pine trees in the desert. Know that one for a fact. Okay, so we've got all the stuff we need to make the research bench. Ape is now praying. Okay. I'd be interested to see sort of a uh, religious system, because everybody prays in the game, but they don't belong to a religion or anything like that. I'd, I think that'd be kind of interesting if everybody had their own religion and then socializing, they may not necessarily agree with each other and they might get a debuff for being in a separate religion or something like that. I think that may, might be kind of cool. This game does want to go down the social aspect quite a lot. So... But then again, that's, uh, it might get mistaken as hate crimes and stuff like that if they fought because they were a part of a different religion, so maybe they don't want to include that because it's a bit of a touchy subject. But, you know, it's a thought. So, do we want to build anything in our crafting spots? Could make some more human, um, 
human clothing. We're only allowed to use human leather. Go. Make us some clothing. It's probably better quality than the stuff they've got. And it's also a replacement if it ever does lose its quality. Which is what I'm thinking. Ooh. Yes! Our plants, they are growing. So we're doing alright on food now. We've got a couple of animals. The problem is that a lot of these will rot very quickly. See, the, the meat is going to rot in less than a day. Berries in 13 days, that's kind of good. Colonist needs treatment, Branya. How is it going? 89% and only major, so that's alright. Amber, could you go and heal? Yes, you way ahead of me. Okay. I like you, Amber. You don't mess about, you know what you need to do. You know it before I even know it. Right. Research. Electricity. What's complex clothing? So complicated garments like pants, dusters, and cowboy hats. Alright. Fair enough. Brewing, stone cutting, and devil strand. Yeah, we want electricity. Let's do it. Electricity allows us to get lights. It allows us to work. I think, actually, even air conditioning is something in its own. Yeah, there it is. Air conditioning. So that's the thing we have to unlock after electricity. But with this, we'll be able to get the... Um, the powered stove instead of the fueled one because we're going to run out of wood quite quickly which is why I'm kind of growing these we're already 8.5 do they start at that level? maybe, I don't know but we can uh, chop wood and we can chop some of these down so we can get a little bit of wood these give barely any if I remember rightly but I suppose it's worth looking into and doing so that they'll regrow themselves. I find it odd that you can't put cactus as a growing item. Just for the fitting uh, nature of the biome, I might have chosen these as cactus if you could. But you can't. Nope. You can get some dandelions though. Alright. Let's have a look at our training. Let's get these guys to be obedient. Who's our handler? Lagua. Okay, so we're hoping that we can get Iris and White to become uh, release hounds for attacking. Because these guys can do a lot of damage. If I am correct. And they're also advanced trainable intelligence, which is awesome. Um, does it actually say how much damage? Or am I just not seeing it? I had 6.2 DPS. 6.2 damage per second. I don't think the... Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I don't think the weapons have a DPS. Well, it's roughly... Roughly about 6 or 7 DPS with this knife. So you can count these as knife-wielding people, essentially. Roughly. I didn't do the math. I made a rough guess. Sue me. Okay, so how much strawberry... We got 474 berries from those strawberry plants, which is awesome. That's going to keep us going. It's a shame I can't restrict um, this to have to... Oh, I can actually. We have to use human meat. And then the simple meals can be made out of anything, I suppose. But yeah, we want to prioritise using human meat to make the pemmican and stuff like that. Who's our cook? And why are they not cooking? It's Lagua. Lagua has a lot of um, training to be doing in his off time, it looks like. I consume the berries when there's pemmican. Eh, whatever. So. Next plan. Let's build ourselves a new structure. And its purpose, not sure just yet. It's probably going to be a production building. We'll just add production stuff to it later. We'll put a double wooden door there for um, synergy sake. 
symmetry. Sorry, no, not synergy. Silly me. I'm going to get that there and haul that away because we don't want to block off this little pathway here. So how much steel do we actually have? We don't have any in the stockpile, but we have some down here, some ready to mine. Uh, we have the compacting machinery there. There's some steel there, and then there was some up here as well, weren't there? Yeah, some there and there. Awesome. One downside for uh, something we have to worry about later is we don't have any uh, steam geysers inside our walls. So it's something we'll have to expand to down the line. There's one up here. There's one there. I think that's it. Oh, there's one down there. So yeah, they're all just outside of our base, which is a little annoying, but what can you do? We can actually maybe want to, since we are trying to trap and kill people, let us go to security and make ourselves some deadfall traps and just scatter them around. Have a few like that couple there and then we'll probably just expand on that later and that'll just turn this little valley into a death trap for when they want to come down here a little bit of a preemptive attack and all that are you guys gonna butcher those corpses because they're gonna rot very soon there you go these people just doing exactly as they're told as I tell it we have no fuel oh scorpion is there uh, Way ahead of me. God, you guys are efficient as all hell. Practically just watch you doing this if I didn't have to control what you built. To chop that down since it's in our walls. It'll probably die anyway. But we've got sculptors tables and that's about it for um, crafting. But what we can do is we can sculpt like that. We can make a dumping stockpile here. And in this dumping stockpile, we'll only take chunks and we'll make it critical so that we fill this up before we fill the dumping stockpile up. That way we can get someone sculpting. We don't have a decent artist though. Four, it looks like, is our highest. Yeah, four is our highest uh, skill for that. And it's Brio and Scorpion. Yeah, this is fine, priority-wise. Yeah, it's not impeding on anything. Awesome. And everybody's filling it all up. Did anyone try to do any training with these guys? I don't know. Our handler was Lagua. And he's just going for a walk. If I right-click on these. Interacted too recently. So yeah, he has attempted to train these guys. Awesome. So we're there all being trained in obedience. They are both ladies. Everybody is a lady in our colony except for eight. Which isn't a problem. It's probably better. <laughs> a lot less of arguments between men and women. The super colony. These can be the cannibal Amazons. That's what we're going with. Don't mess with Wonder Woman. She'll eat you. Okay, so they finished that mining order. So let's add to it. I'm actually digging out a nice little uh, building here we could use as a stockpile in the future. Probably a dumping stockpile. Close it off and put our fresh corpses in there, ready to butcher later on. Also, can we haul all them so it's not blocking off the path? Uh, let's see. Joy. Let's get ourselves a horseshoe pin. Uh, we'll... Oh, God. Game's spazzing out. There we go. We'll get a horseshoe pin, so at least we've got some sort of joy item for us to do, other than walking around, because eventually we'll have joy-deprived people. Why can we make a sun lamp if we don't have electricity? Odd. They must have forgotten about that one. <laughs> hmm. We have nothing in power whatsoever. 
and simple walls. Let's have a look. We haven't actually looked too much into what we do have. So we do have torch lamps, and yet again, standing lamps. We have no way of producing electricity. Torch lamps. We can use these to light up our rooms, but they produce a lot of heat as well, apparently. So maybe we don't want to do that. How much human leather? A hundred and hundred human leather. That's dromedary. And then we've got 61 human leather at the moment. Okay. Interesting. Has anyone been making any human leather tribal wear? I uh, don't look like it. No. Shocking. Oh well. Let's speed it up, shall we? Right, let's have a look at our sculpting table. We want to... Let's just do small sculptures for now. And... What can be rotten among these? I don't know. Let's not untick it just in case. So we'll disable everything but stone blocks and we will make... We'll do a do until you have three small sculptures. I don't know. Maybe we'll extend that later on. And then, did we have anyone on our... Yeah, we have people on three. So, it's one of those things that we'll do if no one else has got anything to do. Otherwise, we'll just leave it to it. And then people are playing with their horseshoes. Yay! And our research has only just begun. Oh dear. That's really slow as well. Ooh, cargo pods. Bird meat. What kind of bird? That's the question. Eh, it's in grabbing distance, so we might as well. Go grab it. Ooh, White has been a had his obedience training. Yay! So let's get you trained in release. Oh, we have a raid. Oh my god. Oh my god. They realise that we're eating them and they've been bringing correct amounts of uh, firearms to take us on. Okay, well. Hopefully they don't want to come through the walls. Otherwise that might be a little annoying. I think they're preparing. So we'll wait them out. We'll actually fight these guys and then that'll be the end of the episode. Where are you going, Scorpion? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, run. Run, Scorpion. Scorpion, you're an idiot. Run. No, oh, thank God. Hopefully, uh, Purr actually pursues. No, it doesn't look like it. If we could split them up, that'd be great. They're beginning their assault, though. Okay. Right. Amber! No! Right, draft everybody. And let's go around this corner here. We want to make sure that these guys um, have to come round and get within range of us. So that we can ambush them and get up close with our melee weapons. It's Purr that's the problem, though, because he's got the assault rifle. So we want to avoid getting shot, and we also want to avoid anyone... Ha-ha! That gave you asthma. No, I'm joking. It shattered your jaw. Oh, dear. Come on, hit him again. Hit him again. Yes! Right. Everybody with a melee weapon. Bum rush, Lumi. And then we'll bring people out this way, the rest of them. And we'll fire at Yoshi. Fire. 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 Come on. Come on, you can do it. Yes. Oh, Purr's coming. Right. Melee attack. Melee attack. Melee attack. He's trying to... He destroyed our pit fall trap. Well, he's going down now. Yes. 
Come on. Nice. They're fleeing, but they won't get far. And they're dead. Sweet. Right, so the question is, do we want... Can we save Lumi? Eating is very poor now that they've shattered your jaw. Hmm. We could take you. We could also take your organs. That might be a thing we want to do. Hmm. Interesting. That requires a lot of medicine we don't have, though. So maybe down the line we might want to uh, perform operations on our captures before... Oops. Before we uh, eat them. But for now, it looks like we're just going to consume their souls. Alright, guys. Well, that is going to do it for today. So if you've enjoyed the content, then be sure to leave a like. If you've loved the content, then be sure to subscribe. But if you're not quite sure... Stay for the end card, see the rest of the content we've got to offer. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.